to start your pom-pom, take your yarn and your cardboard scrap and you're going to wrap that yarn fairly tightly as many times as you desire. The more times you wrap your yarn, the floofier your pom-pom will be. Now when you're done, snip off the end and you're gonna cut another big piece of yarn about maybe 12 to 16 inches long. And then you're gonna slide that underneath your wrapped yarn. Make sure it's even on both sides. And you're gonna tie a really tight double knot. Make sure it's tight. If you need a friend to hold down your cardboard while you do this, that will ensure you get the tightest of knots. Once you have your knot in place, you're gonna slide your cardboard out. If it's pretty tight, that's a good sign. Go ahead and bend that cardboard and squeeze it out gently and slowly. And very carefully flip over your yarn ball. There you go. And you're gonna make one more double knot really tight. And you're gonna notice, see how your yarn is forming that kind of circular shape? That is a good thing. You are on the right track. Only one more, well, two more steps to make your pom-pom. I like to make a little knot with that large piece of yarn I used to double knot because I use this to hang my pom-pom on stuff. Give it a little trim to neaten it up. And now be careful you don't trim off that big tail. That's what I call it now. And what you're gonna do is take your scissors and you're going to slice your loops. Go slow, be deliberate and careful and watch your pom-pom come to life. Now it's time to give that shaggy palm a haircut. Keep in mind, the more you cut, the more dense the pom-pom will look, but also perfect can be the enemy of good enough here. So trim a little bit, but don't get too carried away with making it even. Your palm is great the way you make it.